Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. Welcome to Mastering On One Photo Raw 2018. In this video, we're going to talk about the crop tool that's found in the develop module of On One Photo Raw 2018. Now, the crop tool is also found in the effects module. And a slightly more elaborate version of this crop tool is found in the layers and resize modules. And when we get to our videos covering those modules, we'll talk about that slightly more elaborate version. But until then, we're going to talk about the version that's found in the develop and effects module. Now, when you're ready to crop your image, you could turn on the crop tool by using the keyboard shortcut of C, C for crop. Or you could go to the far left hand side of your screen and we have our toolbar and at the very top of the toolbar is the crop tool. Just click on it and we turn on the crop tool. Now along the top of the screen when the crop tool is on we have the crop tool attributes. And there's several different attributes. I'm going to start over here at the far right and you can see that there's a clockwise circle and a counterclockwise circle. If for some reason your image isn't oriented properly, it's upside down or it's sideways and you need to spin it or flip it, use either of these circles. In this case I'll just click the counterclockwise circle once and you can see I rotated the image 90 degrees counterclockwise. If I click it a second time I'll rotate it another 90 degrees and you can see now it's upside down. So use either of those circles to orient your image properly. If you're ever using anything in the crop tool and you just want to reset it back to the beginning, just click the reset button and we'll reset our image back to where it was. Now another issue we often encounter is our images aren't perfectly straight and you could straighten your image in any one of three different ways with the crop tool. The first is to use the level and you can see that there's a little level. Just click on it and we'll turn on the level tool and you'll see our cursor now has a little level there. What you want to do is find something in your image that is naturally horizontal or naturally vertical. In this case, of course, we have the horizon line. So I'm going to go to either end of the horizon line, this naturally horizontal line. Okay, and for this image, I'll go to the far left. So I want to go where the sea meets the sky. And I'm just going to click once with the left mouse button and hold it in. Then I'm going to pull along that horizon line. You can see I'm drawing a horizontal line. Just lay that horizontal line right on the horizon line in this case. Then let go of the left mouse button and you can see it straightened the image. So anything naturally horizontal or naturally vertical will work and you'll be able to straighten your image with the level tool. Another way you could straighten your image is to use the slider and right here where it says zero to the right of that there's a little drop down arrow. Click on that and we have this slider. And we can just move that slider left or right to straighten the image. And you can see as soon as I click down on the slider and start moving it, a tight grid appears. And that grid will help you better straighten your image. So you could straighten your image that way. The third and final way you could straighten your image is to simply take your cursor and just move it off the image. In this case, I'm just moving it off the image to the right. And you can see it turned into this semicircle. When you have the semicircle, just click with the left mouse button, then drag up or down, and you can see that tight grid appears, and you're rotating your image as you drag the mouse up or down. When you're satisfied with your straightening job, just let go of the left mouse button. It's as simple as that. So three different ways you could straighten your image. Now, as far as cropping, when you turn on the crop tool, you're in freeform crop mode. And what that means is you could crop to any ratio you want. So you could grab any of the handles that are located on the image and you could just start cropping. And again, any ratio you want. So I could just move in here and I could kind of give it a panoramic look and I could have the jogger along this rule of thirds. So that's great. You could really crop your image to your vision the problem with that is if you are going to print your image and you don't have a paper that fits that exact crop, you're going to have either borders around the image or if you prefer and try to print a borderless print, you're going to end up losing some of the print. Some of the pixels will not print. 
So in the case of printing, or if you're sending an image to a, um, a magazine or something and they want it in an exact ratio, you will have to crop your image to that ratio. And to do that, to the right of where it says freeform, you'll see there's a little drop down and we have all these different ratios. We have the original ratio the image was shot at. Now it depends on your camera. In the case of this camera, it was a uh, ratio two to three. So if I use that original ratio and I grab any of these handles, my crop will be constrained to two to three. I won't be able to freeform that crop at all. So it's going to stay in a two to three ratio. Now further, if we look along here, we have um, we have a one to one square. So if you're using square image, then we have a two to three. Now that's the original ratio for this camera. If you have a micro four thirds camera, that would be a micro four thirds crop right there. And you would restrain your image to that um, ratio. We have a four by five. So if you're going to print like an eight by 10, you may want to use the four by five drop down. Then you could crop your image and be assured that when you print it, that it will print perfectly on eight by 10 paper and you won't lose any pixels and it will print borderless perfectly. Or not just eight by 10 though, it would be 16 by 20 or 32 by 40. Anything that is in this case, a four to five ratio that will allow you to print it perfectly. And then we have five by seven, eight and a half by 11. Of course, that's a proper or a common paper size and 16 by nine. Also, what you could do, let's say you want to crop a horizontal image vertically. If you look and you pick, let's say, original ratio and in between now we have our pixel count. So this image is 7,360 pixels wide by 4,912 pixels in height but I want to have this crop vertical. Right here where we have these double arrows, just click on that and it will flip your crop so it's now vertical. Then you could take and you could drag the image around or whatever you need to do to make a vertical crop. And it will restrain your crop to, to that vertical. If you want to flip back, you could click those arrows again and you'll flip back to your horizontal crop. So that's the way you could just flip your orientation from horizontal to vertical or back again. You also could just dial in a number if you have an exact pixel count. You want it to be like, uh, let's say, um, 6,000 by, by 4,000. So you could just dial in that exact pixel count. But then you could come in here and you could move it and it will restrain to that crop that you dialed in. So that, and then it will say custom here. So let's really crop this image. I want to keep my original ratio and I want the man on a rule of thirds line and I want the sun near a rule of thirds line. So I'll keep the original ratio and I'll move it in and try to move it over. And it's not dragging very well there. all the way this way. It's getting there. Maybe we'll crop up a little bit from this side and then crop down this way. And there we have the sun right on a roll of thirds and I have the man right on a roll of thirds. So I kind of like that and I'll click apply and it will uh, close the crop down, crop tool down, but it applies the crop. So there is our cropped image. Now you could go back in and recrop it by turning on the crop tool again and you could see that it remembered our settings and what we did. So click apply again and there is our cropped image. And like that, like that. Simple as that. So very easy to use the crop tool in On One Photo Raw 2018. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.